The night mountains of Yamantau are back in War Robots. For veterans, this map will bring back many wonderful memories. Since then, the map has been completely remastered, both in terms of visual appearance and gameplay. The central beacon is still a crucial point on this map. However, one of the beacons has been moved closer to the central area to improve balance and make battles more dynamic. There are additional ramps and the home bases have been expanded. Frost effects, a frozen lake and northern lights in the night sky make for some great eye candy. Beginners should beware and prepare for fierce battles on the largest map in the history of the game. Tell us about your memories of the old Yamantau in the comments and the robots you will play on it now. Beware of the flying snakes. The new Yandi Raider strikes the imagination with both its exotic appearance and unusual stats. Athean is equipped with an absorber shield, which activates while the robot flies as well as built-in machine guns that accumulate the blast effect on the enemy and deal increased damage to titans. Gun down your enemies and watch their titans explode. And if they start to shoot back, your shield will absorb all the damage and make your built-in weapons even more dangerous. A good addition for your explosive build will be the new Labyrinth rapid-fire grenade launcher. A barrage from this weapon will accelerate the growth of the blast effect on the enemy. There is also pilot, Stefan Benson, who gives Athean a noticeable increase in flight speed and inbuilt gun damage. Is there anything else to add? Well, while the robot is certainly strong, fast and dangerous, it's not really durable, especially on the ground. The Shia drone can provide excellent support. The drone will show the full extent of its power when your robot has a small amount of durability left and save it from imminent destruction. Only the best of the best can take the Titan's pilot seat. And they already await your orders. That's right. In this update you can hire pilots for the mightiest machines in your hangars. There are some very familiar faces among the first pilots. Nessa Riggs is gearing up to take control of the new Rook Titan. And Yan Li brings a more versatile set of skills that let him pilot any Titan in your hangar. You can get NASA from a special delivery, and Yan Li will join all commanders who reach account level 23 and complete a special task chain. Titan pilots are true legends, standing tall even among the elite ranks of rabbit pilots. They can train 3 legendary and 10 additional skills from a huge list, that also features straightforward speed or damage boosts in exchange for disabling one of a Titan's abilities. There will be a gift marathon to celebrate the appearance of the Titan pilots. A little earlier, we announced that community members will vote for the main prize of the marathon. And you did it! Log in every day and you can get the Minus Titan and three Squall Beta shotguns absolutely free. The details are in the video description. Finally, let's take a look at the shiny Ultimate Eras. Your eyes do not deceive you, it's got four new ultimate pulsers equipped. That's because it has four medium slots instead of two medium and two light slots. The robot has also become more durable with a higher built-in gun range and firing rate. Stop the enemy with the lockdown effect of pulsers and strike them down with the barrage of firepower. Also note that ultimate weapons can no longer be destroyed by critical damage and deal increased damage in PvE mode. As usual, the full patch notes for this update will be available on the official website, warabots.com. Check it out! That's all for today. See ya on the battlefield, commanders! Athean is equipped with an absorber shield, which activates this map will bring back many wonderful memories. And if they start to shoot back, your shit, your shit will absorb. <laughs> www.warrobots.com. Check it out. Check it out.
Check it out. That's right. These are... Uh, they can train three... Uh, <laughs> largest. Largest. Largest.